In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this animation. So essentially we have a cartoony type of text effect with an image scrolling across the text. And it's pretty simple to do. So first things first, I'm going to make sure that my background color is indeed black. If it's not, you can just click on D to reset the colors and X to switch them. And I'm going to click on File, New. And I'm going to make sure that the background content is set to background color and the default Photoshop size is fine. Next we'll click on the Type tool and we'll make sure that the foreground is set to white and we'll just type some text. Canadians Okay, I'm going to click on the arrow to accept the, that uh, text and I'm going to click on the V for the Move tool and just center it here like this is fine perfect. Next we're going to try to shape this text a little bit. I'm going to double click on the right hand side to open up our layer styles dialog box and we'll stick some inner shadow in there, maybe um, an outer glow. Um, yellow is fine, maybe I'll, maybe I'll add a little red there. That's perfect. Maybe I'll just tone it down a little bit here. That's fine. Next, we're going to be using the uh, brand new Photoshop CS5 Puppet Warp tool in order to give it the cartoony effect. So I click OK for this message. And the way it works is that you click and you set these points wherever you would like. And then when you hover over a particular Puppet Warp point, it turns into a selection arrow that you can move. And manipulate as you see fit. And what you can do is you can click and hold the H button on your keyboard just to hide the uh, pins temporarily. It'll give you an idea of what you're doing here. That's not too bad. That's okay. Okay, we're going to work on the A. Actually, let me just delete this one here. And I'm going to create, actually, let's move it back here. We're going to create one more point and see if we can tilt it. Maybe we'll tilt it this way. Yeah, we'll tilt it this way. Perfect. I'm just going to hold uh, the shift and click on the other button and just move both of them at the same time. Perfect. Press H to hide that. That's not too bad. Okay, we'll add a few points on the N. And I'm going to click on this point and hold down shift and click on the other point. And we'll just drag out this N. Like that. That's not too bad. Okay, perfect. And again, we'll click on the arrow to accept this transformation. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. Next, we're going to open up uh, the image. In this case, it's going to be a um, Canadian flag that I found on the internet. And you can use any image that you'd like. You can create any effects that you would like. I've got the move tool. I'm going to click and drag and move it to the original image. And let's just move this up. And I'm just going to crop off uh, the top part here very quickly. Perfect. Okay, so we got, just to review, we have our original black layer, then we got our text, cartoon text effect. Then we have the Canadian flag that's going to be animating across the text. And the way that you do that is very simple. We're going to start off by creating a clipping mask. And you can click on the little arrow here in the Flyout menu. And we're going to click on Create Clipping Mask. Okay. And I'm going to press V once again for the Move tool. You can see how it's going to animate across like this. 
Next, I'm going to open up the animation panel. And I am going to click on this icon here, which will duplicate the selected frame. So we'll have two frames. And I'm going to go back and highlight the first frame. And I still have the Men Move tool. And we're just going to move the Canadian flag image, which is still highlighted in the uh, layers panel. And we'll just move it, let's say, right around here. I'm going to click on the second frame that we created. And I'll just move the Canadian flag, the clip mask, all the way to the right. So essentially, the first frame is going to start off on this end, and the last frame will start off at the end. And we'll go back and click on the first frame, and from the final touch, we'll click on this icon, which is the tweening icon. And I'm just going to leave all the, la all the uh, options as is. I'm going to add 30 leaf frames in my case. And what Photoshop is just did is created all the uh, in-between, or tween, frames for our animation. And I'm just going to click on the first frame, and I'm going to make sure that it says zero seconds here on the delay. Um, if it doesn't, you can just simply click the first one, and you shift-click on the last one, and you can just change all of them at the same time. And we'll press play. And I have it looping forever, so um, it'll just keep playing back the animation. And that's essentially all you have to do. And once that's done, we're going to click on File, uh, Save for Web and Devices. And I'm going to make sure GIF is uh, selected here on top. I'm going to make sure Colors is at its maximum. And you click on Save. And let's just... Canadians.GIF, Save. And let's open this up, Canadians.gif, and there it is.